anyways, here's the deal. I freaking forgot my GoPro in the car as it's on its way to Kansas right now. But I want you guys to know we tested the car. I took it on a drive for a while. Everything checked out. But when we were testing, we're having some issues with the converter. So I have a new converter on the way. It's getting overnighted to, to Great Bend and planning to probably install when we get there or do it the day after on our first travel day. So there's a some issues in testing. First of all, the converter. Second of all, my skill. I'm pretty new to the sport. I'm getting better. I'm learning so much. And that's what I'm enjoying most about this process is all the learning. And it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. So bear with me, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the content. I'm going to show you the real footage. I don't like to hide stuff and only show you the good stuff. I want to show you the real story and the real process along the way. So come tag along. I hope you guys enjoy the footage. Roll it. Give a two stock to a race car and he gets out of control. Yeah, really <laughs> Yeah, that's It's got no gauge cluster or nothing in it. Look at just three wheels. Except for a 12 valve, how's that burnout? That's a pretty sick burnout. I say you need to do another one. Dude, it's crazy on slicks the tire roll when you go around a corner. I'm not used oh, to yeah. that. Oh, yeah. Well, you just three wheeled it around this one. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> Your header wrap is smoking finally. It's smoking quite it's a bit. good and hot, yeah. Turbo's still spinning though. It's got some good bearings in it. Hey, I'd rather the turbo wrap be smoking than smoke coming out of the catch can. Yeah. Yeah. But that'll burn off. How'd right? that feel? It felt great. I'm freaking pumped, man. We did it. Don't even know if that was any boost control or nothing, you know. <laughs> I know. You know what? I didn't have the air on. Yeah, so I was just so wastegate. No... But yeah, I, I did it off the, the trans brake and all the stuff I just did to clean up with the fuel and whatnot. It was yeah. just on no boost controller. So you know with no added dome pressure, it will deck. So if you yeah. do forget it, you'll still make boost. Okay. I say you launch it off the trans brake real quick. All see right. how it feels. <laughs> I'm not gonna say no to that. <laughs> Should I turn the boost controller on? No, leave it off. It'll still make it's making like still made five times of boost on the trans brake. That's where it's set at with no boost controller, so we know that it's got enough spring in it. Alright. So it'll still make boost. Alright, you're good! All right, guys, this is the beginning of what was the issue for the track night. The car kind of did this from when I got it. It would get on the two step sometimes, but not others. So this is a little bit of foreshadowing on what was going on at the track. No, we're gonna pull out of the water first. Should I put him in the should I put him in the groove, James? Or just leave it. Hey, ship sailed. Alright, Parker, you got it, dude. I think he's just going to the eighth. Fan breaks on. Alright, I 
at this point I decided just to floor it down the track and get some kind of data log. Uh, I didn't break boost or anything. I was just kind of fed up with how the trans was acting or what was going on so that we could get a little bit of data, bring it back to the pits, look through it and see what was going on. Holy crap, it went 140. <laughs> All right, 11 8. I mean, that's <laughs> actually not bad. That's pretty good for it not building boost till the 330. Yeah, yeah, a good mile an hour. It definitely took a while to build boost, and there's a transmission issue going on, so we'll uh, assess that situation. Definitely got the uh, mile an hour for a nine. Yeah, 100%. Boost out. Get that 60 foot yeah. figured out. As I think it's 2664. Yesterday, it was like jammed. It's like it's shifting right there. He's got to like. Yeah, it's like the valve body's jammed up. Two things, I didn't turn the boost controller on or the intercooler pump, so. Well, First time. It it's all good. It wouldn't get up on the It went in 11.8 at 140, <laughs> so the mile an hour is, is right. The mile an hour is right, but that launch was, I mean, I literally just was yeah, like idle and floored it. I mean, something's foobar. It'll do that sometimes. Sometimes it gets on the trans brake and other times it doesn't. Yeah, we got, it's like, it's trying and all of a sudden it's like, yeah. like something switched. Some sort of valve. Try taking that shifter and jam it all the way back. Like put it in neutral and then just yank it into first, like right now. Does it feel like it clicks in better than if you just pull it into gear? Trans shouldn't be way hot. He just drove it down the road. The thing is, is like yesterday, pulled, put yeah. it on the brake what three times. Yeah, it'll do. He did a burnout, cool. launched it in the street. The second it got hot, the second it got on the brake a few times, boom. Once the trans got yeah. hot, it wouldn't do it. Okay. Does it have it? First 10, 140. Killing it. Unreal, dude. This guy has no respect. <laughs> Not bad. 10 8. 10 8 at 140. What we got here? 10 83 at 140. 1960 foot. But he shifted the thing so early, that's why I didn't pick it up in mile an hour, right? Well, it's 
not smoking. It's not smoking, <laughs> and we made it all the way down. All right, you ready? I shifted really early. I shifted yeah. like 5,500 RPM. No. What are you? What were you thinking? Uh, <laughs> it's all it good, dude. Probably a high 10 or yeah. low 11. Yep. Yeah, it's an there 80. You okay. Needs a whole lot more sauce on the leave. It does. It bogged. I can handle that for you. <laughs> all right, guys. The car is loaded up in the trailer and heading off to race week. The converter is hurt, but we're gonna send it anyways. We spent a lot of time getting the car ready and prepared. So we're just gonna go and have fun with it. I'm gonna overnight a converter from Summit and just take it on the plane with us there and then probably swap it out on our travel day, which will be day two. And then the first day I'll probably just have to send it and do, some, do a brake boost off the line instead of running it off the trans brake. But it is what it is. I hope you guys like this update. We're going, we're making it happen. So thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe, like, leave me a comment and we'll see you later.